Unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. A South African judge is under fire for a Facebook message that she sent to a social rights activist. Now, in this message she sent, she starts to talk about the black community in South Africa and how it is our culture to grape. Now at the heart of the storm is Judge Mabel Jansen, a white South African judge whose comments on social media have ignited a firestorm of public outrage and debate. Hello everyone, my name is Nalidim Mfulwe and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the latest edition of the African Diaspora News Channel where we unravel the stories that shape our world and our communities. Today we dive deep into the currents of information from the pulse of politics to the heartbeat of entertainment. We've got it all covered, so please stay tuned for a news experience like no other. Now it began with leaked conversation on Facebook between Judge Jensen and South African activist Gillian Shutt, where Jensen purposely made comments suggesting that rape was an ingrained part of the culture among black men, describing it as pleasurable pastime. Now these comments, according to Jensen, were taken out of context aimed at highlighting specific cases in an attempt to aid victims of rape and assault. Here are her words. Now, she says, in their culture, a woman is there to pleasure them. Gang rapes of baby, daughter and mother is a pleasurable pastime. She also said she still has yet to meet a black girl who has not been raped at about 12. Now, in a nation that has long wrestled with the specters of its past, South Africa finds itself at the epicenter of a controversy that has touched the very pillars of justice. She's really demonized, animalized, victimized black people. Um, and she's in a position where she actually presides over cases of gender-based violence, um, you know, violence against women. And she sees herself as somebody who speaks on behalf of women. Now, the revelation of these remarks has cast a long shadow over South Africa's judiciary, raising probing questions about fear and prejudice within the halls of justice. Vuyan Ngalwana, a leading South African advocate, expressed shock at the breadth of generalization, urging that Judge Jensen be held to account now, amidst the uproar, petitions are circulating, demanding her removal, signaling a society's wrestling with its conscious. Uh, for someone in that, in that position to make such statements, really, it rubbishes the notion that judges are beyond reproach. Now, what baffles me is for a judge to voice this is very problematic because to find out that a judge actually thinks this way, are we even really sure that the judge will judge black people of South Africa fairly? And yes, we do have high statistics in rape in South Africa, but anyone who says it's part of black culture to rape babies doesn't know anything about black culture. There is no culture where, where it is a regular thing to rape babies. And so if you believe that, then there is something deeply disturbing about you, honestly. And the bizarre thing is that this is a whole judge, right? And for her to have prejudged a whole race based on her outrageous stereotypes is actually terrifying. Now, I do think what we're witnessing here is not just about one individual. It's representative of a deeper racial divisions and prejudices that still exist. Now, the judiciary, as the guardian of justice, must remain above reproach, embodying the principles of equality, fairness, 
and impartiality. Well, uh, it is very clear that we are still grappling with elements of, or remnants of uh, racism in our country. And uh, on this day and age, um, uh, racism is still actually confronting us. The sentiments shared by just, uh, Judge Mabel Janssen are indeed saddening us and are making us to be very outraged. And we firmly believe that uh, she does not actually um, fit to be a person that is holding that position in the public um, arena. The echoes of apartheid, however distant, continue to resonate, reminding us that the journey to reconciliation is far from over. And South Africa's struggle with racism, both systematic and undisguised, challenges the notion of progress and the ideal of a united nation under the principle of Ubuntu, which is humanity towards others. In, in the digital age, social media becomes a mirror to society's soul, reflecting our best and worst. Now, the case of Judge Jensen underlines the necessity for a national dialogue on race reconciliation and the unfulfilled promise of equality for all. Now, as South Africa grapples with the implications of Judge Mabel Jensen's comments, it stands at a pivotal moment to confront the shadows of its past and forge a path towards a more inclusive and a just future. Now the call to action is clear to rebuild the rainbow nation and not on the sands of silence and suppression but on the bedrock of open dialogue, mutual respect and a renewed commitment to equality. Now we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts in regards to this? Please share your comments below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. That is it from me. Till we meet again, it is goodbye for now.